So about three weeks ago, I accepted a challenge from Matt over there at the Linux cast, and the challenge was to use Nano for an entire month. The idea behind this challenge really was to see if the Vim guys could adjust to Nano and could really see a reason to use Nano over Vim. And after about three weeks, I do have some opinions on this, and I'm not really going to make a video uh, at the end of this challenge or whatever telling you guys my thoughts. Yeah, to be quite honest, guys, about two weeks into this challenge, I already had my thoughts on Nano, and um, they're just not that good. So let's go ahead and jump into the desktop here, and we'll talk more about this. Okay, so one of the things about Nano that really, it sort of, I'm not going to say it pisses me off, but I really don't like it, is that it's slow. It's super slow compared to Vim. Like, deleting text, for instance, right? Now, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a, an alacrity here. And then we're going to, we're just going to play around with this. And so if we do nano blah, right? And we can put a bunch of stupid text. All right. And if I want to delete all of this text, I either have to use the delete key, uh, the backspace key, or there is a shortcut and it's control K and it's, it's the cut, right? But as you can see, we have to cut, we have to go up and cut, we have to cut, we have to cut. You kind of get the idea, right? Like, it's just not, it's not fast. Um... And in BIM, what I could have done, so if we switch over here to BIM, let me go ahead and pull up another alacrity here. So VIM, the What I could do is just Control-V, DD. Done. And, and it's... It's so much faster and it's more intuitive to use something like Vim. Another thing that really upsets me about Nano is that there's not a lot of customizations. The, the configuration file is... There is a little bit of customizations and, and we can see this. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and pull up my customization. Um... So do nano, I think it's config, nano, nano or C. Now I haven't done a lot with this. I know there's, there is a ton of stuff more. I, I get that guys. Um, but this is just what I've done to it. And I've seen some of the customizations that some people do with their nano config. And it's nowhere near, nowhere near the customizations that Vim have. So, it, for that reason, or those specific reasons, um, I simply don't think Nano is a good text editor. Um, now, if they if they added some more functionality to it, maybe they added like a package manager to it, or if they added, um, you know, some kind of e extensible plugins, then maybe later on it might compete with something like Vim. Another aspect of Vim that people don't think about is that when you use Vim, what you're really doing is you're training your brain. You're training your brain to use a text editor in a certain way. For instance, right? With something like Nano, I pop in Nano, I can just start typing. I can just start typing, right? So with Vim, what I have to do is I can't just start typing, right? I have to hit the I key. I have to get into insert mode, okay? And 
it does take a long time to adjust to this like mentality that like hey there's different modes for different stuff that you want to do um but once you uh, once you've trained your brain to function like this or to think like this it's really hard to get out of that mentality in fact it's so hard to get out of that mentality is that i have switched some of my other programs to use the vim key bindings as you guys know um i use most of the time i use a tiling window manager what's my tiling window manager have it has the vim you know it has the vim control keys right what does um I, I I could make alacrity use my Vim, uh, Vim keys. I could um, I already had uh, I use Visual Studio Code from time to time. I think it's a decent program for propri proprietary software. Um, it's fantastic for editing code. So I use that um, a little bit. Um, I even downloaded an extension the other day for Visual Studio Code to use the Vim key bindings. All right, so once you've adopted this like mindset of this, you know, this different modular um, way of using a text editor, it's really, really hard to break that mindset. Um, so for that reason, I think I'm about done with this challenge. Now I could go on another week and I could complete it and hoorah, right? It, it's not a big deal. The whole point of this challenge was to see if there was a big benefit of using something like Nano and just to get a different perspective on another text editor. And like I said earlier in the video, about two weeks in, I really got that perspective and uh, I wasn't too I wasn't too impressed. To be to be quite honest, um, so for that reason, what we're going to do is we're deleting Nano, and I'm going to delete it. And I'm done with that program. I'm completely done with it. Um, so if you guys have any thoughts of your own, maybe you're a nano user, maybe, um, maybe you think that, uh, that BIM is trash compared to nano, um, leave me your thoughts down below because I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested in, uh, finding out, um, y'all's thoughts on, you know, the ones that participated in this challenge. Um, now, like I said, I I'm not bashing nano, um. I know it seems like that, but I, I understand the reason that people use it. Um, not a lot of people have a lot of time to um, maybe learn some of the more difficult stuff that BIM can do. And it is a bit of a challenge to train your brain um, into using, you know, D different the the way that the vim uses key bindings right to i for insert okay shift v for um it's your visual mode or visual block mode stuff like that so it is um i understand that it's difficult to get into it's difficult to wrap your head around that that whole mentality set and um yeah if you guys have any questions or comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys but until next time, you guys take care, be safe, and peace. Thanks for watching, guys.